Hi there, it's Jackie from the Support Desk. In this video we're going to go over assigning billable items. However, before I do that, I'd just like to run over a couple of things within the Finance, Configuration, Create Billable Item. Our recommendation each year is to recreate your billable items. This will make it simpler for report tracking and getting the information required for last year's billable items as opposed to this year's billable items. The other thing that I'd like to point out here is the family donation, so the family based items. Now here you can see that you can set up for one, two, three or four or more students. However, some schools do like to go to five, six. Now if this happens, what you can do is create a variable price item. So you have two choices, create a variable price item. So the description would be school donation and assign it to the ledger number for your donations. And then because it doesn't have a price in there, when it is assigned to a student, you can then pop in that new price. The other option is to then just create a extra billable item with that five or six price range. What we'd like to also point out in regards to billable items is that the ledger that a billable item is assigned to, if you have for some reason ticked GST on a item that is no longer GST or shouldn't have GST on it and you go back into your ledger, so back through to finance, maintain ledger numbers and you untick or retick that box you will find that that GST amount will now only apply to any billable item that is assigned after the time that you untick or tick that box. So any changes made will only apply to any billable item assigned after the fact. This also flows through to the uh, billable items as well. As you have that option to edit or remove, any editing that you do on a billable item will only affect those assigned after the fact. So our recommendation is that you don't rename any of your billable items from within that financial year. If in fact that item has not been assigned to anybody, then just simply click the remove. So it can be removed, it's no longer there and will not come up in any lists, etc. That option also applies for any items that you have set up but have not needed to use. You can go through and remove that item as well. So editing is only really used if an item hasn't been assigned to a student and you have made some sort of uh, error in setting it up, whether that be the price or the name of that item. So only make those changes before assigning any billable item. So just to go back to the finance and processing assign billable item. So this is where you can either assign a billable item to an individual student and then you can just simply find that student and then you can select the billable item. If you're going to assign more than one billable item, you can click add another and then another row will come up so you can select the next billable item that you require to assign to the student. You then go through and click assign and down the bottom here you'll see pending items. So it will give you all the information about what it is that you're just about to do. So this is just another 
um, opportunity for you to go actually I didn't want to assign that item I've done the wrong thing and you can go through and click the X to remove however if you have selected the right items the right student etc you can now go through and click confirm from there you will then that, that will move down to the history so you can see here the date and time that this happened the items the pricing and the student that that has been assigned to so also when assigning your billable items you can choose to do the, either the whole school the individual year groups classes or groups so if you have a group that you've set up for a sports trip or a, a camp where it includes students from various classes uh, then you can go through and select group and then select that group from the drop down and assign those billable items as required. Thank you very much for watching.